And so I reset it again at a higher jewel setting, put the paddles on, shocked her, and she sat right up and she started talking to us just as if nothing had happened. So glad you boys could make it out of here today. And I knew right then and there that this is going to be a pretty cool job. This is what our life is day in and day out. It's this roller coaster. You, you get an alarm before you even have time to wake up, the sirens go. satisfying especially if you really can walk away from a situation with the feeling that you've affected someone else's life you know in a positive way it makes you feel wonderful you know it just makes that's what makes this job a good job Monitor looks good, it's normal sinus rhythm. Pressure 140 over 75. Oh, wait a minute, look here. It's diabetic. Okay, let's see that answer. Steve? Chem strip's about 30. Let's go ahead and give him some sugar. Yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. Steve, you Steve, you okay? You hear me? How you doing? How you doing, Steve? Where am I? Huh? Hey, you had a little blood sugar problem. Did you take your insulin this morning? Yes. Did you have some breakfast? No. Yeah. They are so trusting of, of us. You know, we walk into a situation and they believe that we know, have all the answers, we know exactly what to do, and they trust us completely. You just have to try to, to live up to that trust as much as possible. He didn't take his medication. I told him to. think I needed to. That's why you just took it now, isn't it? All night long, he's been up all night long. Are you having any chest pain with this? For his heart, to regulate his heart. Okay. And he just refuses to admit that he needs that medication. He had a stroke and he refuses to take his pills. He says he doesn't really need it when he feels good. He hasn't taken the diuretic. I know he hasn't. You have Ma'am, let me ask him a few questions, please. Thank you. Uh, sir, are you having any chest pain right now? No. When did this start? Early this morning. Okay. His rate feels low and regular. BP is 180 over 100, Kim. Sir, we're going to put you on our heart monitor. Ma'am, where are the pills he's taking? Out in the kitchen. Yeah, he felt fine, so you didn't take your medicine. You just felt so fine. Oh, ma'am, well, ma'am, please. Monitor looks like AFib. Yeah, it is atrial fib. Well, let's go ahead and 
get a D5 W started. Yeah. Sir, I want to give you some medicine. That'll... I was so <laughs> happy. I was so happy because, man, I had the power to, to save this guy's life. He was seeing the light. He was going down the tunnel. And I had the power just, you know, boom. It's a good feeling to, to have that because that's the, one of the best medicines we have is a defibrillator. Paramedics here. What kind of a problem are you having today? I got pain like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I can see that. Does it go anywhere else in your body? Yeah. My arm. I want to hook you up to our monitor here. These 150 over 90 can. Okay. Let's do a 12. Okay. How can you describe falling in love with a total stranger? <laughs> I mean, it's weird. You, you just, you're there. You're there with them. It's like you're holding their hand and they're walking, they're walking to the beyond and they're that close to it. And here you have, you don't know these people. You don't know a thing about their life. You don't think about that then. But when you get to see them come back and, and go for it the second round, uh, I, there's nothing to describe how great it is. <laughs> <laughs> 